Hello YouTube! This is my first ever Pokemon opening. I've never ever ever opened any Pokemon cards my entire life. I've purchased them for my younger brother when I was, when he was really young and I was younger. <laughs> I think I was uh, 16, 17 at the time and it was when Pokemon first came out and it was all, the, I don't even know what they're called, they were the first edition cards or something. They were a big craze at the time. And we were actually living in another country in the Middle East and purchasing these cards, which didn't have much of a following over there as much as it was over here in the U.S. But um, we were young and it was cool and the cards were holographic and it was pretty cool when we were younger to, to see cards like that. Um, it was just, when you're younger, you don't think something like that is pretty simple to make and it's, it, it, uh, it holds more value when you're holding it in your hand, I guess. Um, so I purchased a bunch of them for my brother, and he's actually held on to them till this day. He still has them, and they're in his Pikachu uh, folder, Manila folder, whatever you want to call this you know, folder he's got. It's from Pokemon, and um, they're worth a lot of money right now, and he's getting them graded and doing all that. So I kind of got interested in the whole Pokemon thing, and um, yeah, it's pretty interesting. These are my first two purchases that I've purchased um from a local store, not from somebody else. Most of my Pokemon purchases that I've done have been through eBay because it's hard to find anything in the store these days. So I've been going to Walmart and they've been saying that it's in stock online and I go there every single day and it's not there. Same thing with Target. I go there every single day and it's not there. So I stopped going there because I'm sick of wasting my time. I figured it. The time that I'm wasting to go back and forth and the time I'm searching online for it to come into stock, um, I might as well just buy it on eBay. There's no point for me to spend all that time and money um, looking for it when I can just spend it just to purchase it and set it home and, you know, be comfortable. Yes, it does cost more and it is harder to, you know, to get it because you have to wait for it. So you can't just buy it and open it right away if you want to open it. I'm more of a collector. These would be my first two cards packs that I have ever opened. And I got these from Best Buy. Thank you, Best Buy. Best Buy has so far been the easiest for me to get any Pokemon cards. If you go on their website and you have it set up to where your location is, it'll actually tell you what they have in stock in the stores. And I've noticed that they might have these in the store, but they don't sell them in the store. So when you go in the store and you walk in there, you won't find them. But they have them on the website. So you order them and you do store pickup and you can go pick them up. I picked these up today. I'm actually pretty excited because I've never done this before. I know they're just cards. And to some people, it's just pieces of paper. But um, I'm just excited. I've never done this before. And it actually, I've been wanting to open it. The one I've been wanting to open this whole time that I've had for a while is this thing right here. Vivid Voltage. The trainer box, elite trainer box. I've been trying, I've been wanting to open this and I haven't opened it because um, I'm scared. I'm scared that once I open it, <laughs> I'm gonna be hooked and I'll have to be buying Pokemon cards till the day I die because <laughs> I want to get them, I want to catch them all, guys. Gotta catch them all. So today we're gonna open these guys up, these two. I have three more coming. Um, they are coming from Best Buy. Best Buy only allows you to buy five. Or they only allowed me to buy five. I don't know. If, I mean, they still had them in stock after I bought them. So I guess there's a limit five per person. So everybody has an opportunity to buy them. So check out Best Buy, guys. BestBuy.com. Um, I haven't been able to find them anywhere else besides BestBuy.com and eBay. Um, I purchased a whole bunch of booster packs, uh, Vivid Voltage booster packs, and a whole bunch of uh, uh, these guys, actually. Sword and Shield. I purchased uh, Rebel Clash. I purchased a whole bunch of their uh, booster packs as well. These are just singles that I got and I'm opening these. So let's go ahead and let's check it out. Let's get this one out of the way. We'll put it up here. You're next, buddy. Okay. So here we go. I've never done this before. Let's check it out. I mean, I've seen a bunch of these openings online on YouTube myself, but myself, I've never opened them. This is pretty cool. Look at it. Actually, hmm. you think it'd be a little bit better. You can see all those streaks in there. All the talk and all the hype about this, you'd think that they're actually doing uh, a better job at printing them. Because people are going crazy all around, they're buying them. I'm going to use scissors to cut these. I probably is a dumb idea, so I don't cut them, but I'm going to feel where the card ends. And then we're going to go ahead and use the scissors. Just because I don't want to damage any of my cards, and if there are any good ones in there, that is awesome. We will see. So, what in the world? Okay. These are in here pretty tight, guys. Oh, the first card. You can see the first card. I think the art on this is actually pretty cool. Some of these art on these cards are on the art. Okay, so let's turn it this way. 
and then I see everybody doing this and then they show this if you guys want to use this I don't know what this is for but you guys can uh, do whatever you wish with it and then they go one two three four and they put them in the front right something like that and then they close this and they do this can we tell we can't oh it looks a little oh, no, we'll see okay Ooh, energy I got the lightning energy is that lightning energy I think it is we gotta keep these straight so we can't see what's under there guys okay so we got the lightning energy Olina Trainer. I don't know if that's good or bad. Okay. Luxio. Again, I don't know if it's good or bad. But it looks pretty cool. Drake. Drake. Loke. I am going to have a hard time pronouncing these names. I think this is why I didn't get into this when I was younger. I couldn't pronounce it or say half the names on here. Meditite. 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 <laughs> ah, Meditite. Okay. Mickery. Oh, don't do that. Go back. Okay. Mickery. Growlith, ooh, Growlith, ooh, I like that card, it looks cool. This is an Impidimp, Impidimp, that looks pretty, Impidimp, that's a funny name. I wonder who sits there and th thinks of these names and draws all this. This is the kind of art I like, I don't know why, but for some reason this stands out to me. It almost looks like the the, the bunny wasn't supposed to be in the photo, almost like uh, when you do a selfie on your phone, you put it in selfie mode and you get the, you come out really clear and the background comes out fuzzy. I like that, that looks cool. Bunnel by... Ooh, we have a reverse hollow strafetched. Reverse hollow, guys. And the last card, Mandy Buzz. Mandy Buzz. It's not a great card or a hollow or anything of that nature, but it is a card. Mandy Buzz. Yeah, so I don't know anything about this, guys. If you guys want to leave me some comments on the bottom, tell me what you guys think I should do because I'm new at this and I'm trying to learn. Um, I would like to play the game if I can figure out... Like, you know enough about it i don't know what i would have to buy where it teaches you the rules and stuff of the game but i think that would be cool i would like to get involved in it um if anybody wants to you know waste their time on an older man or guy or kid or guy whatever you want to call it on an older guy trying to learn the pokemon maybe it's a little too late for me i should not even be doing this but yeah we'll, we'll see okay we're opening the second one guys i'm hoping this is not gonna be another 20 minute video like the ones i've been seeing i just want to open these two deck of cards let you guys see what's going on and again i'm new at this so if you don't like it, sorry. Tell me what you like, and I'll play it. I mean, like I said, I have a bunch of cards that I would like to. Uh, okay, so we're supposed to do this again. One, move this for you. Oh, yeah, you guys want to see this, right? Someone keeps telling me what these are for. I know you get something out of it, but I got two of them. There you go. You guys have got one, two, three, four. Put it in the front. And what are we going to say? We're going to say this is going to be water energy. Ah, what? doing it i think that's water energy okay awesome pat on the back should i pat myself on the back like that one guy does on his videos no i'm good okay sonia trainer awesome mas chill sonia mas great Ma i don't want to say it somebody uh yeah somebody make a video and tell me how to say it because i don't know how to say it <laughs> hatrim almost looks like uh what's it called toad from uh mario Kofing, Bronzer, Tuxo, Light Quick, Latod, Lotod. Who thinks of this stuff? Uh oh, is that a reverse hollow? That's a reverse hollow trainer, guys. Now, I don't know if this is a good card or not, but I know reverse hollows, they look cool, so it makes it seem like it's worth more than it really is. But, um, yeah, please, guys, if you guys, if this is a good card, somebody, I'm going to look this up. Somebody let me know if this is a good card. I like these reverse. Give me a hollow. Cramorant. Okay. So, I bought two packs. I spent a total of, I think it was uh, $3.99 and $3.99. Something like that. I got to look it up, but I'm, it might have been a little more. But I think it was $3.99 and $3.99. And what we got out of it, we got this. A reverse hollow trainer. And we got... A reverse hollow surfetched. Now, if you guys want me to open up um, my uh, booster packs or open up my elite trainers, please put some comments in the bottom. I have about 12 uh, elite, uh, booster boxes for the Vivid Voltage, and I have 12... Um, Booster boxes for uh, this one right here, for Rebel Clash. 
I have six Elite Trainer boxes for Vivid Voltage, and I have four, or three, sorry, Elite Trainer boxes for Shining Fates. I'm really excited about Shining Fates. Um, I, do, they, do they even have um, booster boxes for Shining Fates? Anyone can tell me about that? I haven't been able to see anything about Shining Fates booster boxes. It's been all little kits. And I got a couple other little things that um, I can open as well that's Pokemon. Some things I don't want, I'll probably be doing a giveaway. I haven't opened them yet, but... I'm not really interested in them. I don't know why I bought them, to be honest. But these cards actually look good. It's weird how the cards aren't worth really much. Are, uh, like, perfect. People tell me to look at if they're in the middle or centered or something. This one looks pretty centered to me. It looks really centered to me. I don't see anything on the edges. But again, I don't know if these cards are worth anything. So if they are worth something, um, let me comment if you guys know. Tell me what you think about this video. If you want me to post more like this, I can do it. I know everybody's opening Pokemon cards now, so nobody really cares. But if anyone is interested, let me know. I'm very excited. My first time ever doing this. And we got two somewhat good cards that look good. I mean, they're holographic, so I think they're good. Even if they're worth a dollar each, who cares? Or if it just ends. It doesn't matter. They look cool. Put them in my, in my, uh, in my new binder that I'm getting once I open up my... Uh, Vivid Voltage Elite Trainer Box. These will get their nice sleeves, their Pokemon sleeves, and then they'll go into my, my booklet until I find out how much they're worth and see if I should just add them to the stack here or keep them for my collection. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day. Collect them all.